Okay guys, I wanted to show you a video on how I clean the deck under uh, Ego mower. And uh, you know, basically, it's very similar for all the Ego mowers, right? They have the same uh, deck. It's a polycarbonate deck, pretty strong deck. So go ahead and start this process. Basically, get yourself a good scraper. You can get plastic ones, you can get metal ones, and you really just want to get this stuff off, okay? Um, so, you just want to, you know, definitely get all over. Now, it does affect the performance of your deck if, um, you know, you're leaving this stuff on over time. It, it will affect the performance of your mower. So, and, and it actually affects the way the blades of grass are cut up so it'll do a better job cutting when it's hitting the deck and bouncing back to the blades so all you want to do is just get this stuff off now you can also use uh, air pressure uh, but you don't want to use water I started doing that in the beginning of for a while but also you want to make sure that your battery is out as well okay <laughs> So make sure your battery's out before you go underneath your mower. But what's nice about a battery-operated mower is uh, there's no gas, right? There's no oil. So you can turn it on its side. You can lay it down. Um, sometimes you got to get in here by your own hands. Take some of this stuff out. And this is... Uh, I just mowed the grass the other day, and it was a little wet. Just a little. That morning dew... It was like 8 o'clock in the morning, and I was like, you know what? That's it. I love that. I can actually mow at 8 o'clock in the morning and not bother my neighbors. So, yeah. So, if you've seen the channel, you know, basically we, we cover a couple of things. We cover the uh, food saver, because we like to save money and not waste food. So, Covering the food saver is nice. Uh, the vacuum seals uh, stuff. So I will uh, put a link up top on the right-hand side, all right up there. If you want to click that and check out the food saver, maybe you've never heard of one. Uh, maybe you've been thinking about getting one. Um, while I'm cleaning this, uh, the other thing, you know, the Ego mower line. I've been really into this thing. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. I've been really into the Ego mower. Um, I've had Troy builds in the past. I actually have one sitting in the garage at this point. Um, and uh, I've tried a couple. I've had a couple of mowers. Um, and I got the Honda. Um, it's not bad. And then I kept hearing about battery operated and better for the environment so the other thing I do reviews on is kind of like Arlo cameras look at that stuff on down there so you know home security very easy um, no wires just down you know just get an app you have to have Wi-Fi but you can connect some uh, cameras in your home as long as uh, I have them everywhere, I mean, in the back of the house, the front of the house. Uh, in the house, I have cameras to see my dog. Uh, if you've ever seen Brooklyn, I mean, God, I'll tell you, she's going to be eight um, in September. I will put the playlist up here on the right-hand side if you want to click that. It's uh, the Brooklyn playlist, my yellow lab. She's uh, she just had two ACL operations a year and a half ago. She had... Uh, one leg done, and then uh, about two months ago now, she's had the other ACL repaired. They say it's pretty normal. I think it's sad, but it is what it is. Wow, look at how much. That's that's crazy, huh? That's a lot of crap I'm taking off. Um, but as far as the Arlo cameras, if you're interested in that, uh, I could put that playlist up again in the upper right-hand corner. You'll see a little white thing show up. Click on that, and you can take a look at... Um, Take a look at the Arlo playlist because you can get the cameras, but you can also get the lights, which extend the motion so it records 
earlier than someone walking up to the camera. Hard to explain, but um, if you see the video, it helps. So I will include that as well. Um, doing a good job here. It's going to take a while. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, this stuff comes off. You keep your deck nice and clean, your mower. Make sure your blades are sharpened. I'm going to do that sharpening. I bought a sharpening kit. So I'll do a video on that down the road. Um, showing you which sharpening kit I got. And uh, why, you you know, why should you get a sharpening kit versus just uh, sharpening your blade? Well, I'll tell you one reason. If you sharpen your blade and you don't do it right, you can make it lighter on one side and heavier on another. And then again, that, infor uh, that affects the performance of your mower, believe it or not. All right, guys, I'm still doing a good job. Um, you know, I... I try to get into all these holes with my fingers initially, all right, and then and then I'm going to lay the mower down. You know what I mean? It's uh, you just lay it down and um, get you know the bottom because right now I'm working mostly on the top. But you know I kind of got into all of these crevices myself, you know, and just by hand. Um, and then I'm going to use like a wet towel or something like that afterwards. I'm not going to make it brand new, but anytime you can uh, really make a dent, you know, use your hand. Um, again, in, in spaces like this, you know, just kind of you go up without being too aggressive. I don't want to scratch the whole deck up, but it's going to have some. And that's okay. It's a lawnmower, you know. Um, what happens so all right so look at that so far see that whole pile there oh, that's a lot of junk that's a lot of junk so let's go ahead and lay this down now all right you know and now it's just a matter of um kind of getting in maybe the corners i couldn't get into because it was upside down. Okay, and then I'll I'll take all this stuff out once I uh, turn the mower back to its side. But it's kind of getting it clean. Again, it does affect the performance. So, you want to get in as good as you can, get everything out, use your fingers. Again, as long as your battery's out, <laughs> you got nothing to worry about. Now look at that top part. You see this top part here? So, this will actually work. You know? What kind of technique? Is that a technique? <laughs> but, uh, My blade's not super sharp. I have to sharpen it at some point. You know, once a season. I guess it depends on how much you mow and how big your property is. You know, I'm glad you're here with me today. If you're still watching this video, some people do watch the full video, and some people eh, kind of get an idea and say, oh, okay, that's what I need. But, um,. If you're here with me, I hope it's nice to be talking to you. Um, it's nice to be showing. And uh, some people say I have like a, a soothing voice. I don't know, do I? I don't know. Well, my job is I, I just want to make sure I'm communicating as clear as possible. I think that's key. I mean, uh, I'm not this big scholar, but... Uh, yeah. All right, now I'll stop this at a certain point, and then after I wipe it down, I will show you what it looks like. I'll show you what I used, but honestly, this is uh, the really first big cleaning of this machine in a while. So, I think I did a really good job. You know what I should do? I should stop right now. 
I really should. I should stop right now, and I should give myself a pat in the back. You know, really, I think we all have to do that once in a while. We have to stop and just... Got to love yourself. <laughs> they say, if you don't love yourself, how can you love someone else? It's a good question, right? It's a really good question. And only knew you know the answer. Only you know the answer. All right, I'm going to stop for now. And uh, I don't know, I'm going to try to clean everything. You know, even this stuff on the wheels and stuff. Um, so, I'll be back. All right, guys. So, hey, I am going to use some Method All-Purpose Cleaner and a paper towel. I'm going to spray the paper towel and just kind of wipe down. I'm, again, I'm not going to show you the whole video of me wiping down. But I figure some people are asking how and what. So, why not? Spray it really good, right? You can soak the paper towel. And then... You start just wiping the deck down. I mean, you know, some people might want to spray directly on this, but I don't. You know, I say, you know what, let me just do this. But look at that. I mean, it already looks better, and it's not done yet. You know? So, that's what I'm going to do. But I wanted you to see what I was using. All right, I'm not using any harsh chemicals. Um, but again, this is a polycarbonate, uh, pretty durable deck. If it can take wet grass, it can take some method purpose cleaner and some paper towels. So I'll be back. I'll show you the final product. All right, I decided to show you the in-between before I'm finally done. But, I mean, it's coming out nice, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm, the only hard part is getting in these cracks, you know? I'm getting in these cracks. But other than that, the deck, I took out the plug. You know, I took out the uh, mulching plug, you know, out of the back, just so uh, I can clean around where that goes. But not too bad, guys, huh? Okay. Here is another way to try and get some of this stuff out, right? Now, I don't know. I've never tried it. But... Some of the stuff in the tight corners, and it's going all over me, <laughs> which is fine. I'm not even wearing protective glasses, so I have to squint. The pressure is not too high, but you can see already. God, so I've had that compressor for a while, but um, looking pretty good, though, huh, guys? Not too bad. So that's as good as I'm going to get it, okay? I took a lot of dirt out. Um, use your scraper. Uh, make sure your battery is out, okay? Take a paper towel and some cleaner. Spray the cleaner on the paper towel. And then wipe, 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 all right? Don't spray any liquid on the machine itself. Um, you could probably avoid your warranty. Um, and that's it. So listen, if you thought this was helpful, give, first of all, give me a thumbs up, okay? And if you are a new subscriber, or you want to subscribe, I hope you do, hit the Tech Made Easy logo on the upper right-hand corner. Click View Channel. Uh, click um, Subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell on the right. You'll get notified of new videos that I make. And on the left side, I will have my Get Off Gas playlist. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day, and more importantly, be safe.